and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So it is the time of year where I get the urge to go and buy stationery. It has always been this way. I guess now that I'm not in school, college or university, I still get that urge and to satisfy my needs, I still go and buy stationery, which I do use throughout the year. So I'm preparing for a very organized life. So if you love stationery, give this video a massive thumbs up and maybe this will give you some inspiration and ideas for things that you could get for the year ahead for whatever you're doing. So let's go. Okay, so to kick the haul off, I'm gonna start with two notepads. These were both eight pound each and they're really thick, sturdy, chunky notebooks. They're just plain ruled ones. And this one on the front in rose gold says, believe you can. And this one says, every cloud has a silver lining, which is definitely a quote that I live by and I'm very much about positivity. So I love having these kind of little mottos on the front of notebooks. They are both ring binded. I cannot stand notebooks that you can't rip the pages out of. I need to get rid of the old note pages. So ring binding all the way. And yeah, I just think you can't go wrong with black because it's just standard. And this is my favorite color, which is like turquoise teal. So yeah, I got two notepads. Next is this, and this is a clipboard, which is sort of a brown paper feel about it. And it says on here, to-do list, and down here it's got some little ticky boxes. Now, if you don't know me already, I love making lists. Every day, if I wanna have a really productive day, I will sit down with a notepad and a pen, and I'll write a list out of what I need to achieve. Sometimes I'll even draw the little boxes out, but now I don't have to, because they are on this pad already. This costs six pounds, and it also has a magnet on the back if you wanna stick it to like a fridge or a filing cabinet or something else that you have that's metal in your office room wherever but yeah I just think it's a very cool thing to have I just love these little clipboards and when you're done you can just tear it off and start tomorrow's list Next is this, and this is a notepad. I bought this not specifically for me, but for the house in general. So it's a notepad, and at the top it says, fresh out of, and then all of these little squares are categories. So you've got like pet food, cleaners, household, toiletries, food cupboard, meat, vegetables, bakery, all of the things that you're probably gonna run out of on a daily, well, not daily, a weekly basis, perhaps, or a monthly basis. So there's like toilet rolls, um, deodorant, shampoo, cat food, all of the things that if you run out of, you can just tick it off so that when you go to write your shopping list, you will know that that is something that you really do need to get ASAP. The only thing I don't like about this is there isn't a magnet on the back of this one. This would be perfect to put on your fridge. Um, but yeah, I like it, love the color, think it's a freaking awesome idea and it's gonna make life a lot easier. Let's move on to something a little bit more fun and these, I don't really have a requirement for these. I didn't need them, but it's one of those things that you want. And they are eight broad tip scented markers. There's even one that smells like cherries and I have smelt them all. They're really, really nice and they are quite, they are quite pungent, but they're really, really cool. And I don't know why I bought them. I just really loved smelly gel pens and smelly felt tips when I was in school. They were like the coolest pen. If you had like smelly gel pens, you were like the cool kid in class. Everyone wanted to use them and like sniff their paper. <laughs> but yeah, so I bought a pack of these. There's like cherry, peach, orange, lemon, apple, mint. There's a chocolate one in there, which I think is my favorite out of all of them because that's the one that smells the strongest. But yeah, they're just felt tips that smell like different things. And I just thought it was really fun and a bit of a novelty. These were £3.75. So I think that's really good value for money because they're freaking awesome. So yeah. If you want some smelly felt tips, Paper Chase is the place to go. Next is something that I like to buy every single year. So instead of thank you cards, I like to get little writing sets. Um, this doesn't show very well because of my lights, but it's a letter writing set and it's got 10 sheets and 10 envelopes. This was five pounds. Um, it's just a nice way of writing letters to people. I like to write thank yous to companies sometimes, or sometimes I'll reply to some of you guys' mail. My PO box is closed at the moment, by the way. But yeah, I just like that it's on fancy paper. It just shows that you've put a bit of thought and effort into something. And yeah, I just think it's really cute. So I went for baby pink with rose gold dots, and I like it. Next is something I think you guys are gonna absolutely love, and these were four pounds. This is a set of erasers, so you get six of them in here. They're in rainbow colors, and yeah, oh my god, they're little macarons, like, 
I would have loved these back in school. I literally want to write everything in pencil from now on just so I can use them. But at the same time, I don't want to ruin them. But oh my God, I needed these. They're just too cute, like little macaroons. They actually look real, which is hilarious. So yeah, I love these and they're so cute. They're so cute. Stationery does weird things to me. Next is definitely a novelty thing, but I saw it and I just thought it was too cute to leave in the shop. This is a pen and it's it's a flamingo pen. It is what it says on the tin. It's a pen that's shaped like a flamingo. And I saw it, I was just like, I definitely need one of those in my stationery kit. Kit? I don't have a kit, I have a pencil case. Uh, this was five pounds, uh, which is very, very, very steep for a biro, but I guess, it's a flamingo, so it gives it extra cool points. But yeah, I liked it and I was just like, oh, I got a flamingo pen, so who's the cool one? It's totally me. Next in my stationery bag of joy is another notepad. This time we have upgraded to A4 size. It's still ring binded because as I mentioned before, love ring binding stuff. We've got elastic on it, plain ruled, and this was five pounds and it's hot pink. Another one of my favorite colors, so you can't go wrong. It's quite a basic thing to have, but it's definitely something to have if you want to do a lot of writing or note taking. What are you doing? Things are falling on the floor right now. Next I got some pens and I got a gold one and a silver one and these are Pilot Super Color Permanent Type Ink. So they're not markers, they actually write like pens so they've got a fine tip. Uh, the reason I like these is not just for the sound that they make, which is very satisfying, uh, they're permanent and Oh my god, they write like liquid metal. So this is like writing in liquid silver and this is like writing in liquid gold. I really like these and there's always times where you want to put your name on stuff that you don't want it to sort of like rub out. And yes, I could use a black sharpie for that, but what's more fun than sort of like metallic? I like metallic things. It's, I'm not, I don't know how much these were to be honest. Um, I will link you in the description. <laughs> Two things left in my haul and the last thing from Paper Chase I got was actually does it class as stationery? It might class as crafts, but there is a bag of lots of little diamonds to stick onto things, which some people might think is really tacky, but I just wanted lots of little diamonds so I could like DIY things and sort of personalize things and sparkles, I'm like a magpie, and I think that's shiny or glittery, I sort of, I'm attracted to it. So I was just like, you know what? Yes, these were £2.75 and you get quite a lot in there to be honest, so yeah. Probably not stationary, but I thought I would show you anyway. And the last thing I got from WH Smiths, and I went in there and I was just like, oh, that's the one. It's a pencil case and it's mermaid. It's very holographic. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. And that looks really cool on camera actually. But yeah, this was nine pounds, which I don't know if that's expensive for a pencil case. Phyllis, oh no, it wasn't. It was £6.99. You have redeemed yourself. So yeah, it was £6.99, but it's so beautiful. I would have happily paid £9 for it. I have a pencil case already, but it's about half the size of this, and I'm running out of space, so I thought I'd buy a one that is a little bit bigger, and I fell in love with it. It's so mermaid, and oh my god, I love it. Oh my god. I never thought I'd fangirl over a freaking pencil case. But yeah, here we go. This is me fangirling over a pencil case. It is wonderful. So yeah, that's the last thing that I bought. I'm looking at all these things that I've... Notepads just... They, they complete me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. If you're brand new here, yes you, if you're new, then don't forget to click the subscribe button over here. I make brand new videos every single week. And yeah, I hope you guys are good. Are you good? Do let me know down in the comment because I always like to know how you guys are. And I guess I will see you in my next video. I really wanna go write things in the notepads. I don't have anything to write right now, but you know when you just get new stationery and you just want to write, like, a book? I'm not writing a book. I shouldn't say that on a YouTube video. I'm not writing a book, but I do want to write a lot right now. And on that note, I'm gonna go. Bye!